would be great to have this concert for students. I love what I do, and I would love for people to, to keep coming back. This is essentially Inverter's Paradise over the past five years. I've seen um, about 170 species here. You just come here and focus on what you have to do, your research, and it's a great place. I love it. We can lodge about 50 people here if we're, we're pressed. It also has a really well-preserved set of biological systems. You can really experience a lot of different habitats in a very compressed area. And all of those plants are associated with a different set of insects, a different set of birds. Coming to Bonportage, I discovered the life of seabirds and I think I fall in love with the ocean and the birds that live from the ocean. I'm um, looking at stable isotope on uh, the blood and feathers of the birds to have an idea of what's their diet and also their migration route. 31.5, between two and three weeks We've identified environmental literacy as one of the underpinnings of an Acadia education for all of our students, regardless of their major. The experiences that they have uh, at a place like Bon Portage is going to contribute significantly to the development of that environmental understanding or that environmental literacy. This is my uh, sixth year coming here actually. I started in 2006. The hands-on science is really attractive to me because um, even as a bird watcher I only get to see them as far away and like being able to see them in the hands is a completely different experience. We take the birds out of the nets, uh, they just fall into the trammels, they don't get injured. But once we get them back here, we uh, go to the table here and we put the metallic rings on there. And those codes help us track the birds if they're recaught. We will take measurements such as weight, wing length, and their fat content. Um, also uh, their age and their sex. All of the research that any student does has to have all of the elements of doing science. They learn about designing an experiment or, or a uh, collection of data. They learn about how to analyze those data. They learn about how to write a scientific paper. That's what their thesis becomes. And they basically become trained to do science in the short term. They can take that training and apply it to science in any other field. It's really exciting at Katie University and the Nature Trust have entered into a partnership, which we believe is the first of its kind in Canada. It's almost a 300 acre island. Uh, is going to be protected by a conservation easement agreement. So that means Acadia will still own the island. Uh, they'll still be able to do all the things that Acadia has always done here. So all the research and education will continue. But the easement makes sure that the natural values of the island are protected in perpetuity. I find it more engaging. I feel more passionate about what I do. To get out here and just draw the blood myself and handle the birds and learn about their ecology, I find that really exciting. If this gets to be conserved, that'd be fantastic. And it's also a really great spot for the petrels. They, they would probably like it to be conserved too. It's a really important breeding ground for them. Zero, two, five. Nova Scotia Nature Trust will work together with Acadia University on ongoing stewardship. So a lot of the research that already happens here will be able to feed into the work that we do to make sure that the habitats here are undisturbed, that, that the species here are well protected. So Acadia will be able to offer some of that research and the Nature Trust also has an ongoing role as a guardian. The two institutions share a common vision for a sustainable future for Nova Scotians. And part of that sustainable future involves maintaining and protecting the landscapes that make this a special place. All Nova Scotians can help uh, by supporting the Bon Portage Island campaign. We've launched a fundraising campaign uh, and we've succeeded in raising a lot of the funds and the in-kind and voluntary support to make that successful, but we still need uh, some, some monetary support and that's something that all Nova Scotians can do and then they're part of making sure that this uh, very special part of our natural legacy is protected in perpetuity.